One of the most common sources of failure in a roof system is the improper installation of starter shingles. This starter course is very important, especially for wind resistance. GAF offers Pro Start and Weather Blocker starter strips that are manufactured with a perforated line. This feature is a real time saver by eliminating the need to manually cut and clean up shingle tabs. Along with convenience and savings, the Pro Start and Weather Blocker products utilize advanced DuraGrip adhesive to achieve maximum protection against wind blow-offs. Now that we have covered the importance and benefits of GAF pre-cut starter strips, let's take a look at how they are installed. For shingles with exposure of less than 6 inches, either Pro Start or Weather Blocker starter strips can be used. For such applications, begin by separating the strip at the perforated line. When applying shingles with exposures greater than 6 inches, such as the Camelot collection, only full unsplit weather blocker starter strip can be used. Place the appropriate sized starter strip with the sealant facing up at the eave edge. For proper water drainage, both Pro Start and Weather Blocker Starter Strip require a 1 quarter to 3 quarter inch overhang at all eave and rake edges. Every starter strip requires a minimum of four nails driven in a straight line fashion 1 and a half to 3 inches above the shingle's bottom edge. Begin with the first nail at a distance of 1 and a half to 3 inches from the beginning side edge. Space the remaining three nails 10 to 12 inches from the previous nail and the fourth nail 1 to 2 inches from the ending edge. When installing metric dimension shingles, you must trim 5 inches off the first weather blocker starter strip or 3 inches off the first Pro Start starter strip. This critical step ensures that the starter strip butt joints and overlapping shingle butt joints are offset a minimum of 4 inches. Depending on the length of the shingle being installed, a 10 to 12 inch section of starter strip may periodically need to be cut and installed to meet the required 4 inch offset. Fasten the adjustment starter strip with two nails, one to two inches from each side end. For maximum wind resistance, starter strips should be installed along all rake edges. Begin by laying the strip with the sealant side up, closest to the rake edge. Position the starter strip so that it overlaps the eave starter strip by at least 3 inches. As with the eave edges, the starter strip must overhang the rake edge 1 quarter to 3 quarters of an inch. Begin the line of nail fasteners 1 to 2 inches from the side edge of the starter strip and 1 and 1 half to 3 inches from the rake edge. Complete the rake edge starter course by nailing along a vertical line every 10 to 12 inches up the rake until reaching the ridge. Let's sum up the advantages of pre-cut starter strips. First, by not having to manually cut shingles, you will save a considerable amount of time and money. Second, they eliminate the possibility of jagged and unsightly eave edges. And third, the factory applied DuraGrip adhesive on all GAF pre-cut starter strips provides maximum protection against rain and wind blow-offs. For more information on pre-cut starter strips, visit GAF.com.